Okay. She cute. Where's um where's what's his name? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Okay. Me too. Shit, you shot out there. A while ago. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to continue our Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay. If you saw my previous video, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. I'll leave a link in the description. I mentioned how I was trying to do some dumb, dumb shit and I broke my game. Thankfully, I got it fixed. All I had to do was repair my files. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Hope you guys enjoy. See you all in the next one. All right, guys, so we're going to make our way to the camp since we see that a letter has a right for us. We loved ones and true one. A letter has a right for you. So we're going to go get that letter. And then we also have uh, Leopold Strauss mission, money lending and other sins three, which I, I really hate this mission. If it's the one that I think it is, I really oh, that's going to break my heart. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way to camp now. We got to free the fellow outlaw. We got to free our fellow outlaws, man. We all do, buddy. We all do. You're free to go, man. Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give you. But I do don't worry about information. it. Information might interest a man like yourself. The shopkeep in Strawberry has a moonshine business. Some we already know this. Turning a worldly profit. <laughs> sure, with the right motivation, you'd find your way. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Lay low, brother. Thank you for the information. All right, guys, we just made it back to camp. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, <laughs> that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. <sighs> Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, they hit the fields. It's that fellow Downs. The uh, do gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Harris Strauss. Had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. Hey, hey, damn, you good? Yep. This is, uh, this is the, the mission yep. that breaks it. Yo, Idiot. I don't want to say anything, bro. But if you know, if you know, you know, you know what's about to happen. You know, 
Jesus Christ, man. You know. Please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running any. You are a slippery little bastard. I got you now. Please. Please. Give me my money. Please. Show. Give me my money. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Damn, bro. Place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Damn, bro. I'm not going to say anything because there might be people here that haven't seen the game, but. Poor Arthur, bro. He was he was just dealt into this world, you know. He's a good man. He's a he has a good heart. I mean, considering what you've seen me do. <laughs> but Arthur Morgan is good, man. Now that feller's still hanging around. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill Bob. here ah how did you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money well people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions of course <laughs> yeah, makes sense all right, now we can continue. We can go see where uh, Arthur's love is. All right. But I recently started playing GTA 5, and the difference between that game and this one is actually insane. Like, GTA 5 has his own character, and that's totally fine. But it's such a goofy ass game, bro. Hey, you know, like I said, that's fine. People love it. I love GTA Five and the way it is with the with the goofiness. But this game, this game is more serious. It has more of a heartfelt story. Essentially, they're both the same thing. You're an outlaw and you're doing crime, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But like I mentioned, that video GTA Five don't don't give a fuck. This game takes itself a little bit more serious, and I freaking, bro. It is literally like playing, like, you're in a movie, but you're in, interacting with the world. It is so cool. And I feel like that's what gaming is all about. Anyways, enough bantering. Let's get to the mission. 
kill some people. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect freaking timing. I've been wanting to look for a fight. You guys, you guys make it easy, bro. God damn it. Hey, yo. What are you doing here? My dude. Like I was saying, I just needed to get into a little gunfight. Damn, Arthur's freaking badass. Where's my hat? Is that my hat? No, that's not my hat. Whatever, I got it in the horse. All right, guys, we're pulling up to our secret love. Well, not really secret, but to our love. Let's see how she's looking. We loved once and true to. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I didn't mean to disturb I... you, ma'am. Mrs. Linton and Jesus Christ. I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Oh my God. Come down, please. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. She cute. Where's um where's what's his name? <laughs> Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Okay. Me too. Shit, you shot Happened Arthur. A while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So uh well, you, you've been <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> well, I always liked Jamie. At Damn. least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. You gotta suck. I wasn't what? good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... I'm but not. I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say mm. let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Does he give us a, okay? Um, yeah, no. Sorry, no. I'm sorry, Mary. Mm -mm. I like Jamie, but you and me, after all that's happened, you're gonna have to find someone else to run your errands. Literally, you tell him, Arthur. Okay, Arthur. I miss you. Yeah, I Too bad, you. so sad. Nah, bro. It's all in the past now. There you go. There you go. 
Take care of yourself. Sure. She dumped Arthur. Her family didn't like him. And now she's coming back. After she got married, her husband died. She wants me to help her brother? Bro, like what? No. Help him yourself. The heck? That's that's my reasoning for that. Oh, so I got a bounty here again. John Marston needs to speak to you. All right, I guess we're going to go see John Marston now. But yeah, no, no, no. That was that was my reasoning for why I turned her down. <laughs> Gameplay wise, I should have said yes, but no. What are you guys talking? Who's not a big tough cowboy? The fuck is going on here? No, Big Hank likes a spank. Oh, come on, let's go. I can't take any more of this. What in the fuck? So damn funny, anyway. Oh God. What in the oh, fuck? Don't go easy on them. I need to be taught a lesson. Oh god. Oh yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Close the drain. If you tell a soul, I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, no. Jesus Christ. Oh man, and the guys were watching. They were just watching. That's so weird, dude. I swear. Jesus Christ. Why can I not groom my horse? Alright, let's go see what John wants. What do you want? Sexy ass. Uncle told me something about a train. Pouring forth oil. What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of State From the beginning. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train. Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need <laughs> Fucking Arthur. guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. We got all of that. In town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right. I guess we're robbing a train. <laughs> Shit. Don't mind if I do. Micah Bell. Micah asked you to meet him. Oh my God. And we also got this mission for Micah. Jesus Christ.
All right, let's go get the train because I want to do the mission of the robbing of the train. English? <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Why are people always freaking shooting at me or choosing a fight with me? Do I not have a reputation? Damn, bro. I want to use a new pistol. I haven't used it yet. I mean, with that eye, it's easy, but people not have. Do I not have a reputation? Jesus, man, you gotta stop. You gotta stop with the ambushes, bro. I don't know who you fucking with. All right, so we're pulling up. Excuse me, sir. Can you help a feller out? Excuse me, sir. Can you can you help a feller out? Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Jesus. Damn, bro. People so aggressive, man. This is not going to be suspicious at all. Okay, so they got a guy right behind there. I need to drag this guy away. Have a single guy over here. It's going to have to be uh, stealthy. I could. I think it's three guys. And they have guarding. All right, let's try the stealthy way first. Let's try stealthy. Oh, there's another one back here. Put my knife away just in case. Oh. No, they have a guy right here. There. Then they have another one. Damn, bro. So I have three guys on this side and then three guys on the other side. I think I think it'll be easier if we go for this side. Yeah, we can go ahead and get this guy. Is he at? Oh, he's like right there. God damn it. What? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Why did I kill my computer? <laughs> All right. So the stealth did not work. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to have to go in. It's going to have to be gun, gun blazing, you know? Come here, 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 come here
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh lord. We're leaking. We're leaking. We're leaking. We made it. Yeah. Nice. So I joined back at camp. The wagon is in position. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. All right. Where's my horse? <sighs> Fucking kill yourself. Oh my God. All right. I'm hyped. Let's get this train robbery. After all the struggle that I went through. <laughs> It wasn't really a struggle like that. Store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? It's a rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> that is true. Not wrong there. Be well. And you, Jose. That's true. At least we're not freezing our balls Good off. Morning, Good morning, Sean. How are you? Hey, brother. Job. Hey, partner. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's always bullying him. Uh, let's sit right here and enjoy this foggy view. It is so peaceful. Okay. Are we not robbing the train? I think we got to do the Abigail mission first. Okay. Damn, I really thought we were going to rob the train this episode. Well, guys, I guess we're robbing the train next episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.